Praise the Lord. So just a few weeks ago, I got an email from um, Apostle Ivory Hopkins. And he wrote me up on Facebook and said, do you know of any deliverance ministers in the Texas area? So get to thinking for a moment. And, uh, of course, uh, Carl Henderson came to mind. So I forwarded a email to Brother Carl Henderson, and it goes like, the uh, story goes like this. Uh, basically, uh, there is a young man in Texas that is um, suffering from some heavy demonic possession. It was so bad that uh, the institution he was at basically kicked him out and said, we can't do any more for him. They sent him home with his mother, and the the case when I first heard about it was that uh, he was at home, running around butt naked, uh, peeing and you know taking dookies on the floor, and it was like a, I mean it was like your worst exorcism case you could ever imagine. So I shot this uh, email over to Brother Carl. I said, Brother Carl, um, would this be a case you might want to take on? Well, Brother Carl took it on. And I'm going to read for you some notes he's posted so far. He says, please pray. We've got a severe deliverance case. Young man has been naked on the floor, violent growling and cussing for over 10 months. He's twice attacked Roman Catholic priests, sent them running from the house when they attempted to exercise his demons. He's also attacked other evangelicals who have come over to visit him and injured them. And when they attempted to pray you know, uh, for him, the, uh, he would just attack them. It seems to be some type of curse, generational sin related to witchcraft and the occult. Please pray. Now, that was the uh, note a few days ago. Brother Carl has uh, taken a crew. He's went down, and uh, he's been engaged in three days of deliverance. Here's the most recent report from the field. Brother Carl writes, During the last three days, we have done deliverance on several people including the mother of this young man who was heavily demonized. We went to his house, which reeked of urine and human waste. He was naked and filthy and initially tried to flee, and then became very violent. We had conversations with him, which included him making constant violent threats towards us. We bound the demons repeatedly, but they would come unbound almost immediately. Several times for a few seconds, the actual man seemed to surface and apologized for attacking me and threatening us. And then the demons would violently resurface again and again with greater anger. At one point, the young man, whose name is Michael, surfaced, and he told his mother, get these people out of here before I kill them. I don't want to hurt them. They're not like the others. Then the demons surfaced and said, but I will kill them. I'm going to effing kill them all. He asked one of our team members, are you ready to die? And Eloy replied that as a Christian, he was always ready to die. This made him hesitate for about 10 seconds. We did not make as much progress as we had hoped, even though we were there for an hour. We're going back to continue deliverance for another session in a few days. Interestingly, when we told him we loved him, it seemed to impact him more than binding the spirits. Suffice it to say, The violent nature of the deliverance was such that I needed to get five stitches in my upper lip at the emergency room afterwards. Brother Carl ends by saying, please keep praying for Michael. Pray that he will gather the courage to resist the demons who are ruining his life and that he will cooperate more in his deliverance. Bind the spirits from wherever you are also. The demons are so strong that I suspect they may be mind-controlled demons, but we're praying for greater insight and we cover your continual prayers as well. So I'm going to ask people right now worldwide to come in agreement with me. Let's pray for Brother Carl and his team and this young demonized man. He sounds like the man in the tombs. His name is Michael, running around butt naked, using the bathroom on the floor. He'll bust you in the lip if he can get close enough to you. And his demons are very powerful. But you know what? We're going to take authority over those foul spirits right now in the name of Jesus. And so anybody who would... Come in agreement with me right now for Michael. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that uh, Brother Carl and his team have been able to go down and start this work with Michael. 
Well, Father God, we lift Michael up to you. We bind his strong man. We bind every foul, wicked spirit that is working on the inside of Michael, and we bind those fallen angels on the outside. In the name of Jesus Christ, we loose warrior angels right now to go right down to Texas where Michael's at and begin to separate the demons, cut all their communication lines, strip those demons, take their power, weapon, armor, and rank away in the name of Jesus Christ. And we place the demons and the fallen angels working through Michael and against him in the judgments of the Lord and loosen the judgments of God on every foul, wicked spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I'm asking, Father God, you lose blindness, confusion, civil war into the camp of these demons and into the fallen angel ranks that are working on the outside in the name of Jesus. Let those spirits begin to attack one another in the name of Jesus. Bind every foul, wicked spirit, every last one of them in chains of darkness, fetters of iron, in the name of Jesus. And loose angels to go down right now and begin to sword those demons day and night, reading the word of God to them, marinating them in the blood of Jesus. And all those demons can do is they can come out and go to where the Lord Jesus sends them. We loose destruction and fire on those foul spirits right now to barbecue them in the name of Jesus. And I'll loose an angel right now just to go in with a big sharp sword, scalp every foul wicked spirit, take their pride away, cut off any claws and wings if they've got them, any talons right now, in the name of Jesus. And I command every demon out there, just to open its mouth. We just pour the blood of Jesus Christ right down their throats, make them drink it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord God, for deliverance that you're going to bring for Michael. And we stand in the gap in the name of Jesus also. Confess any sins of the ancestors that have allowed these demons to have legal rights to stay. We don't know what's been done, Father God, but we confess it to you. Anything in his ancestor or personal sins, we remit those sins to you. Ask for forgiveness for them. We break that family line curse right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, bind up all schizoid, marine spirits, octagon, squid spirits in his mind in the name of Jesus. We bind all witchcraft in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. And we break every word curse and all witchcraft spoken or sent against him in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, I'm just asking that you lose ministering spirits to Brother Carl and the team. Give them discernment when they go in there. And an angelic escort. Put a wall of fire around them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and ask all this right now. Amen.